Hi everybody, my name is Spamwolves and welcome back to Battlefield 1. In the previous episode, we did the runner, but coming up tonight, we have Nothing Is Written. Join Lawrence of Arabia in his desert campaign against the Ottoman Empire. This is the final story of the campaign, let's hope it's a good one. So, without any more stalling, let's begin! In the deserts of Arabia, an insurgency war was raging years before I got to France. Tribes of Bedouins had united to fight a war that was very different from the one we fought in the trenches. Using small mobile units, they challenged the might of an empire, and they were rallied around the ideas of a single influential warrior. Ideas of freedom and change. To freedom and change, let's do this. Alajar Mesopotamia, spring 1918. The Great War engulfs the globe. In the deserts of the Middle East, Arab tribes rebel against their historic oppressors, the Ottoman Empire. To counter the uprising, the Ottomans deploy their most advanced technologies. The Empire's devastating artillery, combat aircraft, and armored vehicles engage rebel forces wielding rifles from horseback. T.E. Lawrence, an unconventional British officer, works with a small force of highly mobile rebels. They cannot confront the Ottoman forces head-on. Instead, they must fight another way. The Arabian Desert. A vast ocean of drifting sands and scorched, sun-baked rocks. Beneath these endless dunes, oil. The lifeblood of our new mechanical century. For more than 400 years, the Ottoman Empire has ruled these lands, controlling all that's to be found here. But the Ottomans do not rule unopposed. Small bands of Bedouin rebels have united to overthrow the empire. They strike without warning and then vanish into the desert. Fighting alongside them is a lone British officer whose exploits have earned him wide renown. The world has taken to calling this man Lawrence of Arabia. Nothing is written. I've heard of Lawrence of... In the of... desert, you rely on good planning. But you also hope for a dash of luck. And luck was with us when we learned of a recently derailed Ottoman train carrying a most interesting piece of cargo. New objective, use binoculars to spot enemies. I've heard of Lance of Arabia, but I know nothing of him, so this is going to be informational and educational. A small patrol had joined the Ottomans who survived the crash. Together, they guarded the wreckage and waited for reinforcements. What you're saying is we need to act fast. When your enemy has better weapons and better equipment than you, steal from your enemy. The good motto to have, I'll write that down. New objective, enter the roof hatch. Rooftop hatch. Oh, on the train carriage there. The one that's different from all the others. I like it. So do I have any weapons? I got just a knife, just a knife. That's all I need. I'm Lawrence of Arabia after all. So I'm going to be that single person that rallies all the rebels and encourages them to do good in life and to fight and to win for glory and to bring a down... A lone fighter has just one advantage over a large enemy force. A lone fighter can move unseen. Very good point. The Lone Ranger is his greatest strength is his loneliness. <laughs> Does that mean I'm a very strong person because I'm very lonely? Hi, buddy. Oh, you're being shinked. Though Shanked. powerful and efficient, firearms would often attract attention. You had to be prepared for the Ottomans to respond in kind. Horse, do not betray me. Right, do me a favor, horse. Distract the guy. Yeah. Tell him you want an apple. What's that, mate? You want an apple? Yeah, I really want a fucking apple. I'll look inside your backpack. I can't find one. Keep looking. It's in there. Oh, no betrayal. <laughs> Thanks, horsey poo. Um, would you like to take a ride with me? I think I know a place where we can be together. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. I bring you an apple, Ed. Where did you go? There you are. Weapon crates. Wow. That's a Lewis. That's a really big machine gun. There's a world of difference between seeing something and having it in your own two hands. He heard that. I just want my knife out. Don't have the gun out. There we go. Horse, I need you to do your thing again. He's going to come all the way up here. Where do I go? Where do I go? Shit, there's a standstorm coming. I'm trying to be stealthy and it's dicking me over. Although, actually, this is to my advantage. What is unseen is unheard. I can speak noble things too. Oh, mate, in the chest. I could just mow them all down. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be Sneaky Susan 
What's that? Someone's running on the tracks. Don't run on the tracks. It will kill you. No one saw a thing. Sneaky Spammers is still A-OK. -okay. I've never been to a desert before. I've been on a very sandy beach though, and that got very hot under the foot. And it gets... Oh, that guy's onto me. That guy's onto me. Oh my god, go inside. Get inside the carriage! But I would very much... I wouldn't mind visiting a desert. I think it could be an interesting experience. I know that they do uh, dune, bug, dune buggy racing down them. Those kind of 4x4 four four buggies. Looks killer fun. Lawrence of Arabia! It's getting ready to... Strike! Didn't see shit, didn't see shit. Run, 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 run! What was that? Did I see something? I'll check it out! I'm sure it was just a sand bug. Oh, fuck, I died. Dear Zach LeBleu, what happened to you, Basil? You do not respond. And suck a dick. Oh, not my heart! That's not, oh, that guy's onto me. Run and jump height. That is not the end of Basil, because his stepbrother, Susan, is here. Oh, Susan didn't last very long. Sorry, Susan. Oh, is that you, Fitzpatrick, in there? I was looking for you. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, do I just end we this? strive to do what we think is right. And push through those who would stop us from achieving this. No matter the cost. Try to get that guy's attention. What was that sound at the back of the carriage? I wonder what it could be, let's have a look -see. My gun is aimed. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Yeah, oh, oh, I'm leaving. No, 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 no. Whatever. And surprise, unlucky ducky. That means just the two of us. Would you stop crouching? Hi, buddy. Whoa! Oh, that sucks to be you. Right, let's get into this hatchway. Open up the hatch. I can't shank it open. And booby. And booby. Boop. New objective. Search for the code book. I'm here for your books. Found it straight away. I'm very good at this book finding thing. Give me a Where's Wally book. I'll find him in seconds. Even the scroll and, wall and wizard. Oh, that was a big mistake. Over. Well, you did not think we would be fast enough to catch you here, did you? Lawrence of Arabia. Oh, the signal! These are my people! These are my comrades! These are my family, my lifeblood! You dick with me! You Actually, dick with all of us! I was rather depending on it. Yes, Mary! Well, Lawrence. Ah. Well, this is very clever. Now the hunter becomes the hunted. So who might you be? How enchanting you are, my dear. <laughs> Achmed. I'll show you enchanting. If it weren't for you, I'd be free. Free, is it? You'll be free when you're dead. And I'm happy to tell you, the Empire intends to grant you all this freedom very soon. Oh! It's armored now, train! An engine of destruction scours this desert, obliterating your allies. Your families, your homes. Soon there will be nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. Soon all that you know, and all that you love, will be ashes. You will all be free to die. Yes, mate! Yeah. Zara. Wow. Stings. The sand would get in it as well. Now I understand that you would like nothing more than to strip the flesh from that man's feet and send him off into the desert naked to die. But think about it. You're right. I'm sorry. My friend here, she can be a little brusque. You're going to tell me how to lie to your train so we can lure it into a trap and destroy it. <laughs> Impossible. To even begin to talk to that train, you would need an entire book of communication codes. Oh, like this one. You can never stop the progress of machines. One day, the whole world will take your lands and the precious black gold beneath its sands. <laughs> we shall see, my friend.
I'm a lady! Of course, obtaining the codebook was not enough. To destroy this iron dragon, this Canavar, as the Ottomans had named it, we had to send it three encrypted messages telling it to stand down. There were Ottoman outposts scattered along the railroad tracks. The commanders there carried high-priority message capsules. We had to use those to send our orders. Infiltrating the village wouldn't be easy. A full detachment of Ottoman soldiers had occupied it. The Ottomans had chosen an isolated location for their desert outpost. It seemed lightly defended. It was also well stocked with arms and equipment. The ancient ruins were all that remained of a civilization now lost to time. The Ottoman Empire brought in the modern world with a host of armored vehicles and field guns. Three commanders to eliminate, three personal message capsules to be stolen, and then sent with our false orders. How Zara tackled this dangerous and audacious mission was up to her. New objective, recon at the, recon any of the Ottoman strongholds. Okay. And there's a horse. Hey, horsey. Ruins, ammo, the village. Let's go to the village because it's the closest. Come, uh... The Bedouin treasured their horses. And in return, those animals granted their riders unparalleled speed and mobility. Oh, my sword. Stop moving, please. Thank you. That armored train was freaking amazing. It's a thing of nightmares. I legit, as a child, had nightmares of trains coming to kill me. Uh, more of that later. But this is awesome. I'm going to call us Bruce, though, because the guy said we can be quite brusque at times. So we are Bruce. We're a lady. And we're going to bring death and destruction upon everybody that opposes us. I've got really good feelings about this being a really good episode. The to the village. I recognize this already. This, we played... Get off the horse, hide. We played this map in the open beta. So that gives me a bit of an unfair advantage. I know the lay of the land quite well. I need to get my eyes on that town so I can find out where everybody is. Get back on the horse. Horsey Boo, I forgot your name. I promised you an apple later. I'm a woman of my word. You will get one. Eliminate the commander. Where's the commander? Are you the commander? No. Hey, buddy. Let's keep on the sneaking. I... <laughs> hey, horse. What are you doing? What are you doing, horse? You're eyeing up that apple tree. There's no apples on it, you big silly. Uh, come on, then. Up the chair, over the top. Whee! Up here. Ladder, 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 Oh, here's a guy on the road. On the road. There he is. Oh, it's a flamethrower, dudes. My most favoritest of dudes to destroy. Okay, we're going to be stealthy. Take out as many as we can before we start shooting to take out the flamethrower guy. Unless I can just shank the flamethrower guy and take him out in one go. We never tried that before. Let's go for the impossible. Fuck this. Nice one. Nobody's onto us. I hear the coop. The pigeons are in here. He's not seeing me. Fuck, I'm running out of time, running out of time. Hi, man. Fuck, yes, yes. Nearly, not quite. Nearly. Is he... Oh, shit, it's gonna blow. That was a bad idea. Not the pigeons. Now everybody's alert. Oh, screw this. Boop. Oh, gas. Boom. Woohoo! Mayhem and chaos are my new friends. Hi, buddy. And you're dead. Hey, buddy. You're gonna die. Death any second now. Any second of the death. Oh, you're taking his death token. You're dead. You, mate. Oh, you're fucking dead. Anybody else want to toast death? I'm coming for you, commander, wherever you are. Oh, you're the commander. Yes! That's the carrier pigeon's little message bag thing. You strap it to its foot, send it on its way. Dispatch the fake message. Let's do this! Before reinforcements come and really dick us over. Here he is, hey buddy. Ah, oh, my friend, my pigeon epo. I wonder if I get to beat the pigeon again, because that was a magical thing. Time to leave. Time to leave! Ottoman protocol the message to be received in trip before the train would acknowledge it as chicken. New objective, recon either of the remaining Ottoman strongholds. Okay. Let's go to the weapons depot. Yes. Hop, hop. That was a really dumb idea. Why am I doing such dumb things? Eliminate the commander. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck you, Binky! Why did you not jump? Wait a second. Oh! Who wants to go with the Spammels now? Boshi! Go and fuck yourself! Now, where are the enemies coming from? Fuck it, I'm running out of time. Did I get him? I don't know. There's lots of cannon fire coming over. In the distance! Fuck yourself! Yes, mate! Oh, the guy on the ladder. What ladder? Oh! New objective. Seize the commander's satchel. Okay. The satchel shall be mine. Give me your satchel, dude. Well, face plant the building, why don't you? Oh. The music calmed down, means we're safe. Pigeon ahoy! Oh, I've got bracelets on and stuff. There's a car coming. Oh, wait, cannon. Cannon. Give me a cannon fast. We were putting a great deal of trust in Zara's capabilities. But I had complete confidence that she would carry the day. Oh, there's still time. There's still time. I really want to fuck shit up. Yes. Yes, mate. Get in. Turn it. Blah, blah, blah. Boosh. Yes, mate. That was totally worth it. That's everybody dead. In one bullet, one shell. One shot, one kill. That's what I do. That's the, that's the kind of person I am. Binky number two. How is it going, Binky? Saber ahoy. Yeah. To victory! So we've got one place remaining. It's the uh, the ruins. We're going to go to the ruins. We're going to ruin it a bit more. Get a carrier pigeon away. And then I guess it's time to show down with the armored train. Oh, there should be tanks around here, I think they said. There's a tank. I have no grenades. Grenades? Grenades? Just... Oh, fuck you, you piece of shit tank! Why don't you come out and fight like a man? Don't come out and fight like a man. I think there could be something for me up here. Is it an anti-tank gun? That's a really big case for such a small weapon. Yes, ammo. Give me... No! No! There's the tank. I wonder if I can get in the tank. We couldn't the other cars, but this is a tank. Didn't see Dick, didn't see Dick, and now you're dead. You didn't hear Dick, and now you're dead, unlucky. <gasps> yes! I can get in the pissing tank! What are you doing? Get back in the tank! Okay. Who's going to die first? Oh, hi, buddy! I'm here to return the tank! Fuck you! Anybody else wanting fucking? Over there! He's fucked. Tank? It's on the way to being fucked. It's gonna back this up a second. Don't want to damage the ruins. Move! One more. Reload, please. There's someone coming behind me. You have a very big gun and a hole in your chest! Yeah, now you're dead. Hi, buddy! Beef curtains! Oh, mate, I fucked you. You're not getting a burial. I think tanks might be the best thing about this game. I don't know. The most fun I've had has, has been with a tank. Be it Big Bessie or a little Lovejoy here. There's somebody up there, I believe. I'm hearing the voices. You were literally by a big knob off cannon and you didn't shoot me. How dumb are you? I see a sharpshooter! Not anymore. Well, this has been rather easy. Where's the, the enemy at, you know? Like, I thought this is a big armored base and everything. Oh, you're shooting at me! Fuck. New objective, seize the commander's satchel. All of this for a satchel. I probably destroyed it. Point. Sup, pigeon! You're the last one. How lucky of me. Wait a second. You! Oh, fuck yourself! Although you see, the message had already been sent, my dear. No, not the message you would have wanted. El Orans was such a good host. It almost seemed rude to escape. I made sure to note the location of Lawrence's camp, of course. Which means... The train knows too. Twice. You told that train everything was clear. But... 
I told it exactly where to attack. The beast has your scent, my dear. And it's coming to slaughter you and your little band of rebels. First, the firestorm from the cannon. Then, up close with the troops to slaughter any survivors. The legend of Lawrence of Arabia dies tonight. to Lawrence of Arabia immediately! Use your horse, Nav! You slipped away just in time. Tilkiji was a fool to think we'd ever stay after he escaped. The carnival won't stop hunting us. No, it won't. Let me think. The train's coming a long way. So it'll have to stop to take on water. That's where we strike. Agreed. I'll deal with any sentries, then rig explosives on the track. Yes, and I'll rally our fighters. When I blow the lines, the, the train will be trapped. So when you hear the blast, you need to attack them with everything you have. It's good. But you know that there's a chance the men may not come. You may set off those explosives and find you're out there all alone. You know that. I guess I won't know either way until I set it off. That's the spirit. Yes, no. Many days passed as we prepared for the train of doom to arrive at our doorsteps. Collecting our resources, we were prepared to strike. Man makes plans and God laughs. As it turned out, the small town where we would ambush the train had a significant enemy presence. Those troops would have to be dealt with before the explosives could be set. I want the cannon on the back of that car, basically. That's my plan. Chase the vehicles. I'm gonna rush them, that's my style this time, that's my play. They're gonna jump out into a world of pain. Unlucky ducky! Oh, two of you down already. Oh, you got a big gun too! There goes your legs. Can I get inside? No? Oh, fuck this car, you can never ever ride them. Octar Lagar, friends! There's more of you! Oh, you're all dead. Are you dead? I'm dying. Get to cover quickly, get to cover quickly. This cub will have to do. I need a better gun. Okay, I'm back to full health. Here they come. Oh, you're fucking dead, mate. Wow. Is that coming this way? No, we're fine. Shit! Fuck this! Who else is there? Mate. What a dance. This handgun's pretty good, actually. I see a binky. We'll come back for binky later. There's another car. Am I supposed to be blowing these up or something? That was an accident. I didn't, I legit did not know that was about to explode. But at least now I know the cars have to die. A uh, baby, run away. Boom! The explosions in this game are fantastic. They really are. I'm gonna limp the shit out of you now. Bit to a safe distance. Took a bit of the building down with it. That's fine. Secure the town. Wow! Better hurry up. Fuck, that's scary as shit, man. Oh, I'm, am I gonna do it? Ah, oh, fuck this. Yes, mate! All oh, my people are here! I'm not alone! I am not alone! Hi, Drain. Now, this, this is the, the shitty bit where death happens. So, destroy the train. Go! Jump, you bitch! What's in here? Please be an anti... 
Uh, yeah, I'll take that. I'll take take it. Fuck this! Oh, mate, you just got killed. And you're dead. I don't know what that means. There's a lot of shit going on. I don't know what I'm doing! Hi, buddy. Fucking airplanes and everything. Uh, you're dead. Give me my... Oh, don't go that... Why am I going to... Oh, yes. Cannon! Say hello to my little friend. Yes, mate. No! Let's try that again. Is there anything immediately around me that's any good? No. Well, fuck that. We Get the shit out of here. It was good before. Ah, uh, Whoopi. Right, throw some on there. Throw some on there. Throw some on there. Safe distance before you light the firework. And suck a dick. That's good enough for me. And nearly a quarter of its HP down. I'm looking for something big to play with. Oh, mate, in the head. There's got to be some cannons around here somewhere. Hi, buddy. Oh, fuck this. Knife! Airplanes! We can't get on board the train. We literally have nothing to do apart from blow it up. Boop. Oh, they, wait, wait, these. Maybe they will damage it slightly. Any second now. Please go faster. That didn't hurt it. Good to know. I'm on the wrong side of death. Get right around the corner, around the corner, around the corner. I'm missing all the action. Look at this thing. It's freaking scary as shit. There's a cannon just there. We're going to go for that cannon. Airplanes. Please do a better job at killing them. This gun really is amazing. It's my favorite weapon now, guaranteed. Oh, here we go. Cut! Oh, shit. He dead, he dead, he dead. You're fucking dead. Yes, you fucking are. Right. I'll just get in and fire, and we'll take a seat. Take that down. Yes! Cannon down. Train's on the move. Reload it quickly. Quickly, quickly, please. Fuck you, you piece of shit! Okay, I know what I'm doing now. Well, at least I got an idea what I'm doing. So jump straight down, straight down. There goes my knees. Open this, get the shizzle. Run to the train station. It'll be there momentarily. Hi, trainee poo. One for you, one for you, one for you. Blow it up. Baba booey. There goes court of its health. It's not happy. Handgun away. Straight to the big ass cannon. Take down the locals. Let's jump in, Let's get it going. Now hide. Didn't quite damage it enough yet, but we're on the way. This is so good. This is so freaking epic. There's legit a bit of fear going out through me. What are you two doing? There you go. I saved your life. You owe me a cookie. Get okay, back in, back in. Get in. Get. Oh, has it been blown up? It's been blown up. I need another cannon, please. Oh, here's it. I found a cannon. I found another cannon. There's death and destruction all around me. All right, let's take out the end turret. I think that did it. Go, 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 go. Reload, reload, reload. Lesson learnt. Fire once, run the fuck away. Boom, boom. Three, point one, two, three. Boom. Ambushi, we killed a bit of the train. It's now reversing. High ground, everybody. Another second cannon here. Well, time to shoot once. Fuck yourself, run, hide. Fireworks and everything. Boomy. Now, where to get another gun from? Or some more dynamite. Dynamite be great. Dynamite? Yes, there's loads of dynamite around here, apparently. Can I have some more from here? You're a limpet mine. You're quite strong. We'll come back for the limpet. Keep going, keep going. Just run. One, two, three. Boosh! Fuck yourself. Half health. Run back. Get back. I believe in you. To the limpet mines. Don't mind me. It's going to rush the train. It's shooting at me. It's shooting at me. Dear God, it's freaking shooting at me. And... One of those, it's gonna blow, one of those, that's gonna blow, one of those, run away and die. Yes. 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 Nearly. I found a couple of cannons. This is exactly what I need. Get it there. I think I got it. I think that I hit it. Train's on the move. Get in, get in. I think we're doing some damage. Not a lot, but some. 
Come on, fire it. Please fire it faster. Please fire it faster. Yes! Okay, it's at uh, what, one eighth health. This building is nearly totally destroyed. That gun is still alive. I'm going for it. Please cover me. I need to reload it and everything. There. Oh, come on, you bag of dicks. Yes, load the shell. Fire! Run. It's like so nearly dead. Don't just, yeah, thank God, thank God. Okay, we're fine. Just get back in it. Oh, no, there's death coming. Oh. Here it comes, here it comes. I'm being shot at. It's fine. Let's get the shot. Yes! Oh, it's about to explode. Do not miss the sh Do not miss this. I want to see it die. That cannon has life still. Let's get in. Reload it. Fuck you, you bastard! Come okay, I'm back once again. It's nearly dead. I've got limpets. I've got no TNT. There's a cannon working just... Oh, there, well, there goes the working cannon. Let's try the limpet, if I can get close enough. Here we go, throwing. Leave, 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 leave. Won't you die? Oh, fucking... Is that it? Is that it? That could be it. Fuck yourself! Yes, mate! Suck a whole bag of dicks and die! My gorgeous Brucey Boo! Be a sweet or bitter brew. How did you find it, Zara? And you're right, we do need to think bigger, act bigger. Maybe even the Suez Canal. Tell me, what do you know about battleships? Let's get a go on a battleship, please. The end of the Great War saw the Ottomans driven from Arabia. However, the empires of Britain and France reneg 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 on their promises of the Arab and blah, 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 blah. I fucked that one up. T.E. Lawrence remains a figure of controversy. The war for oil continues to this very day. War story completed! That was awesome. That was epic. That was a very fun, exciting episode. It was good because it just climaxed and axed and axed. Started off all sneaky sneaky like Solid Snake, knifing and stealing stuff. Made friends with Binky, did some running around. The desert was cool, like the, 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 the sandstorm was awesome. The, the the variety was interesting, going from the town to the ruins to the gun depot. The big cannons, very fun to fire. But then also you, you're running around with sharpshooters, little, little handguns, and that armored train. Excellent. If there was a villain in this episode, that was the villain, and it was a scary one at that. I, it legit, it sends chivers down my spine. Like, how the fuck do you kill an armored train that's just death and destruction on rails? And that big cannon on the back of it? In World War II, Hitler went and one ups that, and he made this mammoth cannon. It was, I don't know what it was called, I've forgotten its name, but it needed its own dedicated railway. It was pulled by two trains running side by side. They would have to build the track, taking it to where they needed to fire it from. And I think its barrel was spent after one single shot. Uh, it would just destroy the f it itself. It was like, just Google Nazi train cannon. You'll find it. It's amazing and scary at the same time. Anyway, this has been Battlefield 1 campaign mode. This, the campaign is over, but our time in this game is not. I normally would stop after the campaign, but I kind of want to check out the multiplayer because I know there's different maps, different world locations that I'd quite like to see. There may be no story other than kill the bad guy, but maybe we can make our own story up, like they took my penny, let's go to war kind of thing. I don't know. I'm speaking bollocks now, it's getting late here, so I'm going to wrap this up. So on that bombshell, thank you for watching. Rate, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody. One day, all this will be over. The war to end all wars will be won by one side or the other. The guns will rust, grass will grow, 
and there'll be nothing left of any of this. The land will heal itself, as everything does in the end. We'll be long gone by then, but maybe not forgotten. History only remembers one in a thousand of us, and the future will be filled with stories of who we were and what we did, how we lived, how we fought, and how we died. When this is all over and the war is won, they will remember us. But until that day comes, we will stand. We will look death in the eye. And we will fight.